Hello everyone and welcome to the study tonight uh, channel and uh, in this series of R language I will be taking you to the different parts of R programming and gradually I will help you to go ahead with uh, data science and machine learning with the help of R. I am Asudos and in this journey I will be your instructor for the further courses and videos. R. R is one of the most widely used programming language specifically for the machine learning and data science along with some data analysis and visualization role. It was developed by Ross and Robert in 1993 and it is one of the best statistics tool considered for data processing, data cleaning, data preparation and machine learning. Many fortune companies like Facebook, Google, Uber and almost all companies who work on data use R for one or more of their functionalities. The benefit of R is it can handle large amount of data and that's why it can also work with big data systems so that it can leverage the functionality and features of big data for parallel processing and distributed storage. It has series of packages, functions, which can help you to work on almost any kind of data and get the useful insight. One of the most important thing that I want to mention over here is R is very easy to learn and implement. And that is the reason it is widely used in the industry. There are multiple places where R can be used. It can be used for a statistical inference, can be used for data analysis, machine learning algorithm, and not to forget data visualization. Yes, you heard it correct. We can use R anywhere where data is involved. It can be data preparation or creating some predictive model, creating some clustering or doing some predictions. Everywhere R can be used. Basically, we use R in data analysis for the five reasons. First, program. Means R is a clear and accessible programming tool and it helps you with a lot of uh, packages where multiple functions features are involved. You just name it and you will be having a predefined functions available for that. It can also be used for the transformation, right? Like R is made up of collection of libraries designed specifically for data science. You can transform your data from one language, you know, one uh, uh, type to another type very easily with the help of R. You can discover the insight from the data, redefine your hypothesis concepts, analyze them and take the business decisions. Once analysis is done, you can even make models on top of the data with the help of R. These models can be supervised models, unsupervised models, or any other advanced form of modeling techniques you can implement with the help of R. You can also visualize your data with the help of R. There are numerous packages available in R which help you to visualize your data, get the insight, present to the business, and take the business decisions. R can help you with all these things. Recently, I was browsing through some um, uh, visualizations which can help me to find the trend of R and this is what I received. If you can look into the right side of the um, of this pane, it says like, you know, uh, where R's are being used. I mean to for these things, right? So R is majorly used for various industries like academics, healthcare, government, consulting and so on. If you can observe this particular visualization you can find almost in every industry R is being used and it's a good opportunity good time to learn and grow in data industry with the help of a programming language called R. If you can look into the left side of this uh, slide it shows like you know uh, the popular programming language for machine learning data science and needless to say R has acquired at the second place yes Definitely R is a very useful tool for all kind of data analysis and in this journey if you are looking to start with data analysis, advanced analytics, machine learning, data science, R can be a very useful and easy tool to get started. There can be plenty of use cases. Once we will go ahead with the uh, of this course, we will be solving those as well. We will be explaining you, we will help you to find like where these are being used, where you can use. These are some of the uh, very famous use cases which industry legends are using. I have shown it over here. For example, Facebook uses it for predictions, right? Predictions whether the social post will be interacted or not. Uh, banks basically use it for risk, uh, you know, analysis, credit risk analysis. 
real estate company used for prediction of pricing and offers. Twitter uses it for a statistical data analysis. Weather services use it for flood forecasting and weather forecasting. And there are n number of companies which uses R for different purposes to sell or to solve different problems. And you can be the one who can solve the next problem. This is a typical R console. You need to install this on your system. But as you can see, this is quite basic. So we have number of IDEs available for R, which help you with the better feature and better uh, interfaces. The three most famous R IDEs are R Studio, the most widely used. It play, uh, it gives you a platform where you can write your code, you can execute it, you can see the uh, you know visualization graphs, you can load the data, you can import the data set, and multiple other features. In this journey. I am going to use R Studio for the demonstration and the exercises. The next R IDE is Visual Studio for R. It comes with Microsoft Visual Studio and it's similar to R Studio itself. It gives you a great uh, functionality along with uh, some uh, useful features for the data analysis. And last but the, not the least, Eclipse. Who don't know Eclipse? If you have been in touch with the programming, you must be knowing this. And yes, you can also do R programming with the help of Eclipse. So these are the three major IDEs for R. Apart from that, we have numbers of others available as well. There are uh, IBM workbenches you can use for R. There are a number of other IDEs available for R. But these three are the major use in the industry. For R practice problems, demonstration, examples, I am going to use R Studio. In the next video, I will help you to install both R and R Studio on your system. I hope you will join me in this journey. That's for this video. Thank you.